There's the great political question in any system. Quies custodiates. Whatever the Latin is, the question is who guards the guardians? Who's going to police the police? This is my dad, Dennis Cunningham. Thank you, Dad. He's been a civil rights lawyer for almost 40 years. Want some peach? His cases are epic. I can measure my life against them. I haven't been to court with my father in years, but in one week, one of the most important cases of his career is finally going to trial. Earth First and Judy Berry versus the FBI. I was surprised my dad even took the case. He always considered the environment a luxury issue for the privileged. 58 hours a week in the mill, you know, you're milling your children's jobs. That's what you're doing, and it's not your fault. You and then he met Judy Berry. These people think they're riding through a deep, dark redwood forest, and they're riding through a little strip with clear cuts on either side. That used to be the heart of the Redwood ecosystem. Starting this logging season, Louisiana Pacific has instituted a new logging practice, which they call logging to infinity. So what he's talking about, if he implements his plan, is desertification in 60 years. We're simply going to seize the land by eminent domain. She was totally sharp, totally funny totally on top of what was going on, and totally the leader of that group, you know. A car bomb explosion sends two members of the Earth First group to the hospital. Good evening, everyone. This pipe bomb went off at a busy Oakland intersection, and the man and woman who were hurt had planned to lead a summer of militant protest against logging practices in Northern California. The unofficial word is the two environmentalists injured when a bomb went off in their car just before noon are suspects and not just victims. My dad saw it on the news. The bomb inflicted minor injuries on Daryl Cherney, the passenger in the car. Judy's pelvis was shattered. But that was just the beginning. Here is uh, one of the death threats that was released today. This is a picture of Barry with a rifle crosshairs that was delivered to her house. On the other hand, the police are now saying that they have hard, cut and dried physical evidence that these two are responsible for the bombing yesterday. Judy Barry and Daryl Cherney will be charged with possession and transportation of explosives. The DA dropped the charges for lack of evidence, but the FBI continued to insist Judy was their only suspect. By then, people all across America had come to know Judy Berry as a terrorist. As she was regaining the ability to walk, with my dad as her lawyer, Judy launched a civil suit against the FBI and Oakland police. We've charged them with false arrest, illegal search and seizure, unequal protection of the law, and conspiracy to violate our First Amendment rights by discrediting us as terrorists. It would be 12 years before the case went to trial. When 